Hi there, Jen. Well, we're here at Centennial Hotel in Concord, which is serving as campaign headquarters tonight for Marilinda Garcia. Now, our camera has caught up with Marilinda Garcia this morning as she headed out to the polls. The 31 year old from Salem is hoping to become the Republican nominee for New Hampshire's 2nd Congressional District. She wants to take on Democratic incumbent Annie Custer in the general election on November the 4th. Now, Garcia is considered a rising star in the Republican Party. The GOP is, of course, trying to court minorities. And as a woman, as a Hispanic, Garcia is just that demographic the Republican Party is vying for. And Garcia is also a firebrand Republican. Today, she reminded us of her voting record as a state rep. In my four terms as a state rep, I have always made it a point to vote to reduce the size and scope of government, to keep your taxes low, and to prevent government overregulation. So I've done that for four terms. That's been a huge part of my message going forward. And if you look around, you can see that the room here is pretty quiet right now. The doors here at Centennial Hotel open at 6.30, and there's expected to be a full house. We will be here all evening, and of course, we'll bring you the very latest on Marilinda Garcia's campaign. For now, we are live in Concord. I'm Shelley Walcott, WMUR News 9. And while many view Garcia as the front runner in this primary, Iraq War veteran and retired Marine Colonel Gary Lambert has worn out a lot of shoe leather in the 2nd Congressional District and has a significant base of support. Adam Sexton, live in Nashua now at Lambert he Election Night Headquarters to explain why this race is one big question mark. Well, Tom, you talk to political analysts and they say, hands down, this is the most complex race on the ballot tonight. Marilinda Garcia, of course, a rising star in the GOP, but Gary Lambert could very well steal her spotlight tonight. Our camera caught up with the one-term state senator as he voted in his home ward, Ward 3 in Nashua today. It's the end of a long year on the campaign trail for this recently retired Marine colonel. He launched his bid to take on Ann Custer one year ago at the Hudson VFW, saying that Washington needs new troops. But he's been in quite a fight just to get the nomination. As the primary comes to a close, he says he's optimistic about how this vote will shake out tonight. We feel good about the whole race. I, we've got a lot of support. We've spent a lot of time getting out the vote in the last few days, talking to people, working the phones. And so uh, based upon what we hear, we feel very good. Now, this race has turned quite nasty over the last few weeks uh, between Mary Linda Garcia and Gary Lambert. Of course, he made pointed attacks on her record on immigration. This led most memorably to her refusing to shake his hand at the end of the Granite State debate we hosted last week. We'll see what voters made of all that tonight. Reporting live in Nashua, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9. And Jim Lawrence also made headlines this year as New Hampshire's first African American candidate for U.S. Congress. Let's check in now with our Kristen Carosa, also in Nashua tonight, with the Lawrence campaign. We're here at Martha's in Nashua, where Jim Lawrence will hold his election party later on tonight. We caught up with Lawrence this morning as he cast his ballot at his polling location in Hudson. He spent time with voters there, delivering his message one final time to voters as they headed into the polls. Lawrence has served three terms in the State House and is New Hampshire's first African American candidate for U.S. Congress. He says he feels confident going into tonight because he believes he's the one candidate who can defeat Representative. And Custer in November. I want voters to know that I'm the only candidate in this race that has run a positive candidacy based solely on the issues. And because of that, I'm not damaged to the point where I'm unelectable like my two opponents. And I can still unite the Republicans to defeat Representative Ann Custer in November. Lawrence runs a consulting business here in Nashua, but he's lived in Hudson for 20 years. Reporting in Nashua, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.